Good evening. Following accusations from Erie County Executive Brenton Davis and some state lawmakers, supporters of ECRA spoke at tonight's council meeting. Many sharing accounts of how ECRA has changed their organizations for the better and even given opportunities to countless people throughout the area. Matt Mathias is in our studio tonight with more. Matt. Well, Jen, the county executive called their leadership and direction into question earlier this year, and it appears that things are heating up. Supporters of the Erie County Gaming Revenue Authority came out in droves at Tuesday night's Erie County Council meeting. From Fairview to Northeast and from Edinburgh to the city of Erie, directors and representatives of several organizations speaking on how funding provided by EGRA has shaped the work that they're doing in our communities. EGRA has helped PACA with an anchor building grant, but they didn't do so on the first try. In fact, we were initially turned down. We had to prove ourselves. ECRA set a high standard. ECRA had a rigorous application process. They provided the funds in stages. They oversaw the expenditure funds in stages. They called for clarification. Coming to the defense of ECRA is something those organizations say they feel they're inclined to do after EGRA recently coming under fire by County Executive Brenton Davis and some state legislators. Those representatives signing a formal request for an audit of ECRA concerning their operations. Quite frankly, we can't do what we're doing without the ECRA funds. ECRA's grant process is a breath of fresh air. It's uncomplicated, it's thorough, it's accountable, and it's apolitical. Earlier Tuesday, ECRA giving over $1.5 million to local organizations. Council Chairman Terry Scatella says Davis showed up to the presentation, and despite his accusations against ECRA, he chose to sit at the board's table. It's something Scatella said was a petty act of intimidation. It's bull. And cowards, bull. Mm -hmm. right. Cowards don't show up. Right. They walk away from the fight. Right. Well, we're not going to walk away from the fight. Now, the county executive and his administration had no comment on the proceedings tonight, but says they're looking to speak more on the matter later this week. Jen.